Hello YouTube, welcome to The Common Investor, it's your boy, I'm back again with another uh, portfolio update. Um, so, as you may know, um, I've not been able to put money into my free trade, trade account, so I've basically been using the same um, money or the same um, cash I had since um, April of this year. Um, but, you know, by moving things around and essentially by rebalancing or reallocating funds here and there i just kind of cut my losses where i should cut my losses um i've been able to kind of maintain the portfolio in a good state because obviously within the past couple of months i've caught companies like bp um and some other companies as well i did i saw them at a loss essentially but i was able to kind of i was basically able to reinvest them into other companies um which were able to give me um, better gains and um, essentially prop my um, portfolio up again. So, you know, sometimes, you know, if you really truly, um, it, sometimes it's better to actually, to me anyways, it's better to take a loss rather than just to hold it and hope for the best. Um, yeah, that's just my experience. Some other people, they rather just keep on foot. If, I think if I've got the money, um, fair enough, I would average down. Um but if I haven't got the money to be pumping and <laughs> to be pumping and dumping into stocks that aren't doing doing too well for me, then um yeah, essentially I'll just kinda cut it out. Um so yeah, enough for the rant. So uh today my portfolio is valued at uh fourteen thousand five hundred and twenty seven pounds, roughly, or twenty eight pounds, and I am up one thousand six hundred and twenty one pounds. So, I mean, this is not the highest my portfolio, uh, portfolio has been. Uh, well, it's not the highest from, uh, I think the highest I've been is £1,700. Um, but at least it's kind of, it's holding its own and it's um, it's going in the right direction, basically. So, um, yeah, Raytheon, essentially, this is what happens when you average down into stocks. Uh, but Raytheon is still a company I believe in, uh, Raytheon Technology. Uh, it's just one of those things that um, it's, obviously, they have different, um, they have their aerospace um, division and they have their defense, def defense division as well. And um, obviously, due to the corona, um, excuse me, <clears throat> due to the um, coronavirus, um, you know, the aviation industry hasn't been doing very well, which is really the only and main reason Raytheon has been down. And um, things seem to be um, picking up, essentially. So, um, yeah, Raytheon has kind of shown a couple of good um, spikes, essentially. So, to me, I feel like it's kind of found its... Um, is bottom essentially and all we just need to need now is just for the economy to just kind of kick start and people start traveling about and um, essentially i think raytheon is going to go up P the these guys from cnbc they basically started talking about raytheon so um has been a good play essentially so um yeah it's, it's a good one i mean they're still paying your dividends essentially they didn't cut it i think they maintained it and they said they're they have enough cash reserves to um pretty much paid for the next three years so you know it's, it's a long-term play for sure uh but it's really dependent on you know when the aviation industry kind of kicks starts and starts going up again so yeah i'm down 10.79 percent this kind of alternates between um, eight to eight like a seven to eight ten percent essentially um but yeah i don't really have any problem with that actually uh i probably wouldn't be adding any more um just because I think there are better stocks I can be adding my money to. To be honest, I don't. I don't think I have any more money here. Just seven pounds, uh, but I might be selling one or two stocks. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, you yeah, we'll kind of see how that goes. So Microsoft um, added a bit more to Microsoft um, recently, just to kind of prop prop it up a bit. Increase I increased my cost basis obviously. Um, but right now it's it's not a current value of um, just under nine one thousand pounds, and um, I'm up twenty well twenty six percent essentially. Um, Visa hasn't really done too much to be honest with you. It's just pretty much sat there and looked pretty for the past couple of months. Um, well, like you know, fintech stocks are pretty much shooting through the roof, like um, PayPal and all that. So um, 
yeah but i think this war recently there's been a little bit of movement um but yeah we'll see how we go i think it's still a good um stock to hold essentially uh but just a shame it's not really done much um at&t um at&t as well um there seems to be some kind of um restructuring of the company i think they're trying to sell off one of their um acquisitions i think it's called direct tv or something like that so yeah, i mean it's one of those i guess it's one of those companies that's basically been plagued by by excuse me by making um bad investments over the past few years and now they're trying to shed some of them off uh, which is i think which is pretty much a good um incentive they're also trying to reduce their debts as well so you know it's got i mean it's it's gone it's been it's down I don't like it went down a bit today to be honest with you. But as you can see, it's got really strong support. Like once it drops below 30, you got people buying every time, basically. Um below 30. So um yeah, I think it's got pretty strong support around this 29 mark. Um as long as it doesn't drop anywhere below that, then you know it should be okay. I, w I wouldn't be worried essentially and obviously as long as they keep on restructuring um the company and you know aiming for you know less debt and just kind of get rid of those laggers then um and the at and is definitely the stock that's um that can easily recover and obviously they have a pretty good dividends as well which um they they can basically pay um abvi took a hit today I think the regulators or something like that hit them with um um I don't know some kind of, not a fine I've forgotten what it's called but they hit them with some kind of notice essentially I think they're trying to investigate RV for um um like drug pricing and for some reason RV is not co co cooperating so they hit them with some kind of um fine or something um not fine with the notice um so because of that um abvi's dropped uh today uh, obviously they didn't the regulators didn't just do this with abvi they've done this with other um pharmaceutical other companies as well and they basically were okay with it but for some reason abvi is um is a bit hesitant to share information with them which is a bit strange which would kind of you know make people think obviously abvi's got something to hide um yeah so i think it's just uh it's just one of those things it's kind of similar to boohoo isn't it when some kind of bad news or some some kind of scandal type news comes out um then essentially the stock gets hit um i don't know too much about it but uh, we'll just kind of i'll keep an eye on it and just see how it goes uh might be um uh, there might be a buying opportunity for abvi in the next couple of days or weeks maybe depending on how this goes um disney yeah not much to say about disney um over the past couple of yeah i guess the past month essentially it's um it's up about 15 percent um just kind of going with the trend of recovery essentially uh obviously the um the disney plus platform they reported earnings a while ago and um, they, you know, they reported, you know, subscriber growth and revenue growth and all that kind of stuff within the Disney Plus platform. Um, obviously, the theme parks are still are still lagging behind and um, other bits as well. But I think it's that's pretty much what it's riding on right now. Um, so, I mean, this might probably go back to its value to its previous price of, of about 140. Um but, you know, I think there are other stocks that people might want to put your money into. So, MS, e -M -I -S, this is my dividend stock. Um, and as promised, actually, it didn't really go anywhere. Um, but it does. It's a UK stock, essentially, and it does pay a consistent dividend. And that was the reason I got it. Um, yeah, basically. So, I wasn't really expecting it to go anywhere. And he's done exactly that, which I'm happy with, in a way. <laughs> um but yeah i mean it's just one of those ones that i know we keep on paying dividends just get a little bit here and there basically intel um obviously this this dropped um due to uh i think there were there was a delay in getting a you know some kind of updated chip or something 
in, into the markets um, and you know people worried about Intel losing market share to AMD um, and they are losing market share to AMD but you know I still think Intel still owns a lot of the market basically um, and really the price is AMD is at now is still it's, it's basically overvalued essentially in a sense that you know the chips that they will need to or the revenue they will need to generate to justify the current valuation is a lot so um and intel still occupies a lot of that market basically so um yeah decided just to kind of to dip my nose into intel again it was a pretty it dropped pretty much back to where it was and you know the pandemic and um the company is still generating loads of money mate um so, I mean, from a business point of view, it's still a lot better than AMD, to be honest with you. Just that, I think right now, the whole story right now is a growth story. Like, the market just like growth companies. And, you know, as long as you're increasing, you're getting, like, over, like, a 20% or 30%, or well, probably more of, like, a 20% um, increase quarter after quarter or something like that, then... Uh, Everyone just going crazy <laughs> um, and just buying it. And pure storage. So this is a new addition. It's one of them I had in my portfolio before. Uh, it is... Uh, let me just read it out, basically. Oh, there you go. It's a pretty short one. This company makes data storage software and hardware devices. So this is essentially just a play on data storage. Uh, I'm not going to do any technical analysis on this, mainly because I haven't really done any technical analysis on this. Um, what's happened is that um, in the Yak Invest um, uh, ETF, uh there's the lady that runs the um the etf or, or the company rather um uh, kathy some kathy something i can't remember her name she's basically every now and then i kind of go onto that site and kind of see what she's buying and what she's selling and um even before she before i went to that site i had come across pure storage before and it's something i looked into it's, it's to me is an undervalued stock still an undervalued overvalued stock sorry and even um uh simply wall street says that as well but you know i don't know nowadays you know it's not really the value <laughs> value i think value investing might be kind of dead to be honest with you or not necessarily dead but it's definitely not in trend right now um and essentially um what they've done they've basically created a uh, I guess a better way of storing data. Um, I think you you well, you have all these data centers essentially, and they basically store them on your typical I guess hard drives. But these guys, uh, Pure Storage, they basically designed. Um, um, they basically use flash technology, uh, which makes things uh, and they kind of layer it as well. So it basically makes things smoother, makes things faster, and essentially you basically get more. You can you just basically get more space because the the um the storage unit itself is a lot smaller compared to your typical ones. So I think a lot of companies have kind of, I've had a little look at just uh, the comments that people are talking. I mean, just general reviews or comments about the company. I've not really I've never heard anything bad about the company. To be honest, with you. as a matter of fact, I think people tend to really love the company and what they do. So um. Yeah, and um, the lady from Kathy, she's basically buying a lot um, of the stock. So um, to me, that's a good incentive to actually yeah invest in this. And um, it's also, uh, I did a little bit of technical analysis. It seemed to be a buy right now um, from a technical analysis point of view. I met stock analysis previously, so forgive me for that. But it seems to be a buy right now. Um, because it seems to have found its support. Um, it's about $15. And um, it just kind of, kind of spikes every now and then. So it should be good to see how things go uh, from there. Uh, next is Oxford by America. Um, I've talked about this one before, so I'm not, I'm not going to talk to say too much about it. 
um, just a biotech company basically as a UK based company and it seems to be doing yeah it seems since, since it's, yeah, it's doing pretty well basically I've either that's gone down uh, today I have no idea why um, but yeah I'm still it's, it's a hold for me essentially I think it's really good value um, I think they've reinstated their dividends as well um, it's, it's still it's a small dividend. It's, it's, I think it's, they're, they're going to pay their interim dividends, um, not necessarily the um, final dividends this year. So um, next one's future. Future is pre doing pretty well as well. I'm just kind of bounces around every now and then, but um, essentially it's an advertising and you know, like media and advertising and e-commerce um, type company. Um, that's based in the UK as well, so I think it's a quite an interesting company to look at. Um, Upwork, everyone, this is kind of coming out to the media. Everyone's kind of catching wind of this. Um, essentially, similar to to um, it's a more professional version of Fiverr, um, and I'm up five percent on that. So um, after the split, the stock split for Apple and Tesla, I loaded, I got some shares of Apple and Tesla in this. In my free trade account and also in my trading t1 t account uh, definitely have more in my um in my free trade account Mo mostly because my trading t1 t account i basically used the whole pi system so i didn't really have that much money in there to actually um to you know to i didn't have that much money there to buy a lot of um, stocks uh, but i just kind of bought like one i think one share of apple and maybe like half a share or something like that of Tesla, I can't remember, after the stock splits. And um, do I think it's going to go up? I believe yes. Do I think they're overvalued? Yes. Uh, do I think anyone cares? No. <laughs> um, I think, yeah, it's just one of those things. It's just momentum, I think. Um, everyone, everyone just wants to be part of... Um, it's almost sounds almost like a trend now to say I've got a Tesla share or I've got an Apple share, you know. Um, yeah, it's just kind of just trendy essentially, and uh, everyone just kind of wants a piece of it. I was so surprised Tesla jumped what 10, 10 12 percent or something like that after the stock split. Um, well, yesterday essentially, that was. Uh, I've had stocks here that I've held for like a year and it's not they've not done 10%. They've not even done 5% ever. <laughs> uh Tesla is just a beast. Um Yeah, I think what's gonna we we'll got to what it's called battery day. Uh so would the, whatever happens within those next couple of days would kind of determine if Tesla is gonna keep on rising, whether it's gonna basically stay where it is or it's kind of drop. But I think between now and then, I think uh, potentially it's still going to rise. Um, Apple as well. Um, I think Apple, the, the possibilities, I don't know. Possibilities is endless with Apple. They can literally get into almost anything. Uh, they might. They, I think there was talk about them getting into the payments um, system as well. Essentially, where you use your iPhone... Um, to uh, like a, as a point of sale type equipment which is what square is basically trying to do or they're doing already but essentially they can you can basically they're trying to develop a system where you can basically use your iphone for that to collect payments which would kind of make square redundant there <laughs> You know, so I mean, then about Apple, I th Apple is a great company to invest in, really and truly. Um, it's not just a phone company, it's definitely a technology. Co well, it's uh, it's definitely more than a phone company or a laptop company. Um, so yeah, it's definitely one to buy and hold for the rest of your life. I would say if there's any stock, I'm a bit late into the party, but yeah, I don't see any reason why I wouldn't still hold Apple. Um, I mean, that's enough. Starbucks, bought into Starbucks, um, and I'm up 2%. Highland Gold, I've had that for ages, um, for months now, and I'm up uh, 40%. I've sold Fresnello, 
So when I sold Fresnella, Fresnello, which was another gold mining stock, I think I used the money to pretty much um, fund future. Um, so yeah, there are a couple of stocks I've definitely so I'm not going to go to deep into this because I've not been I've not done an update for like the past two maybe three months uh, so a lot of things have changed essentially so just going to focus on what's on here now um, we've got right move obviously that's up 15% as well which is pretty good I uh, yeah I've sold most of my house my house in stocks uh, I sold red row I sold current countryside and I sold uh i think i had one more barat as well so i sold those three i just kind of focused um, on right move essentially um i've got taylor wimpy in my training to want to go camp but we can talk about that later pfizer i uh, do not know why pfizer is going down to be honest with you but um, it's definitely gone down today um i have no idea to be honest uh, but I did catch it when it dropped initially. Um, yeah, and it seems to be coming back down again. I'm going to hold it, actually. I got it at a pretty good price, so I don't see any reason to sell it. Um, idea Chain. So this is one you've probably not seen before. I tend to use trading uh, free trade to buy um, stocks in the I, I, AIM or AIM. Uh, just because it's just a lot quicker using free trade trading to want to takes ages to buy stocks and the um and the ai i don't know if it's aim or aim um so uh and the spread as well isn't very good this you know, the buy and sell spread in um trading to want to for aim stocks is it's a bit wide or wider that than i would like basically uh so i just basically get it on free trade um so yeah so idea gen is basically a, it's a software company as well and so they make specialized software used to manage a, a range of compliance accounting and risk management problems spot on um it's something i've i'm currently using at work to be honest with you so i seen the the software and used it and it's something that's pretty is basically rolling into a lot of different um companies it's kind of something similar to like sap or something like trackwise or this like quality management type systems um it's so um the one that idea gene makes is basically going is getting into the industry now um it's been there for a while but i don't know whether they offer a better value for money service but it's def they're definitely slowly taking um market share from other um systems um not necessarily sap because sap deals with inventory uh not really quality per se uh so skywalk solutions that's a play on 5g um i think about that yesterday it's still it's up quite a bit actually but it's still undervalued I'll say this would kind of be around like the 160 mark or something like that. So, um, and then again, it's also seemed to have found a bottom and I would expect this to be going up. Well, not a bottom, I guess a new support. So I would expect this to be going up again. I kind of always add a little bit of second technical analysis to my, um, to my buying, to be honest, cause, uh, it does help especially to pick buying and selling points um 3m yeah i mean i just kind of got tired of holding 3m to be honest with you. It's, a, it's a good dividend stock and everything and i've got exposure to it elsewhere uh, so i sold some of my 3m to buy skywalk solutions with which is a much more growth orientated company and they also pay a pretty they pay decent dividends as well for a tech company uh so you're yeah, just gonna split it in two uh but just just gonna hold 3m um pretty much happy with the dividends obviously it's gonna be a lot less now but uh hopefully i can make up with that i can make up for that by the um price appreciation and skywalk solutions um the other ones i think the companies you pretty much seen which are like gb group that's a uk company um and i'm up 10 percent on that yougov that's a new one actually i believe 
So yeah, the fo focus on like market research. I think I've talked about this before. Um, so the firm facilitates research and data analysis around the world, essentially, including significant studies into UK election voting behaviors. They also do it in the US as well. So yes, this is election time for in the US anyway. So um, I feel like this is a good time to kind of get into the stock. Um, especially since um yeah i think it's basically, basically a good time uh ocado you know covid 19 is still out there so you know should they're basically delivering online delivery service of foods or grocery delivery service so pretty standard i want to have um rws um i bought this actually dropped because it dropped because they basically bought a company um, at a premium. It was one of the situations where you, a company buys another company, a company that's been bought uh, or merges with, or emerges with, basically goes up in value. Uh, but the company that buys that company basically goes down in value. So it's one of those, it's very strange, you know. Or, Essentially, it dropped like 20% or something like that. And um, it basically picked up today. I went up 5% or 6% or how long? Yeah, 6% today. So um, when it went down, I waited for like two days and put in about 100 quid today. As long as it today. Uh, you were a couple of days ago. Um, I think Friday or something. And yeah, essentially it's just gone back up. It's just one of those. Um, computer tech hasn't really gone anywhere. Um, it's still at you know, it's still up, still up thirty four percent. I have a feeling it's gonna go higher. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna hold it for now. I don't really have any cash to deploy to it and to deploy to to, to deploy into it anyway. So yeah, it's not much I can do there. Keywalk Studios, same old, same old, um, hasn't really gone anywhere. It's been, uh, yeah, it's basically been since August. Yeah, it hasn't really gone anywhere since that increase, essentially. Yeah, so um, that's the portfolio. I think I missed one. So, yeah, so we have Artificial um, Intelligence, which is an ETF. It's quite a nice ETF actually. Um, it basically contains companies like um, like Tesla, um, Shopify, no Spotify. Um, what's it called Blue Prism, which is a UK company. Uh, Square, yeah, those kind of IT companies essentially. It's called artificial intelligence, but really, you know doesn't really it's not specific to artificial intelligence but however the the company that the etf actually holds what companies i liked he has i think he has an expense ratio of approximately 0.5 percent which is on the higher side but i'm okay with that to answer you um it's showing i'm minus 1.26 percent um however the market did really well today so i'm expecting that to be positive tomorrow to be honest with you uh, because I bought this at about three o'clock today, and um, yeah, I think late the markets they're doing really well on the later end of the day, essentially. Uh, so yeah, I'm expecting that to be up and in the positive tomorrow. Yeah, it kind of just adds a little bit of a lot more tech into this portfolio, and um, yeah, guys, I don't really plan on changing too much to be honest with you. I might, I'm probably just going to leave it this way. Um, don't see any reason to, to be honest with you. Um, yeah. I'm considering actually, because this artificial intelligence um, ETF also contains pure storage as well. So I just basically take all, because I've not done a lot of research on pure storage, so that's a bit of a punt, to be honest. Um I can just take take that money out and um, basically invest in artificial intelligence, um, where it has, which has much a lot more companies that I'm more familiar with, and I know this is gonna do well. And if you look at it, actually, it's done what in the past 
yeah, I mean, it's done, it's done pretty well, essentially. It's done about, yeah, 40, 50% or something like that since, since March, which is not a bad return, to be honest with you, so... And I expect this to go a lot higher. It also has like Cloudflare and you know all those all, those, all these companies basically. Um, so yeah, it's one to have a look. I think it's a new ETF that just got added. So yeah, guys, this is um my um portfolio updates. Um, hope you um, like it. So please comment, subscribe. You know, if you like the video, then like put a like on it, and um. Yeah, I'll, probably, I'll, I'll try to bring up uh, the trading to you want to um, update soon as well. Um, yeah, it's doing pretty well, actually. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching and obviously uh, peace. Bye.